Hi, this is George Rollin uh, from grollin.com and there's been quite a bit of discussion on my website about the bulldog exercise and the bulldog set uh, for airplay and for power play and uh, I wanted to just be very clear about how this happens and how it works when you're playing. It depends on the size of your lips uh, and whether they're very small or thick or thin. Usually this works better for folks who have flabby lips like mine uh, perhaps a lower protruding lower lip or an upper lip that is wide and tends to pull up above the upper teeth naturally. As I talk you can see my teeth pretty clearly in there so that means that the, the natural residency of the bottom of my upper lip is about halfway up the teeth edges. Now as we know in the airplay embouchure the ideal set is to have our teeth open, our jaw forward and then for the aperture to actually be in between those teeth in here in the middle with the top lip down below the top e teeth edges and the lower lip either right parallel with the bottom teeth edges so that it can hug up a little bit or right in the middle. So a good exercise that I use and, and, and I also incorporate it into my set for airplay is what I call the bulldog. Now all I'm doing here is focusing on my top lip and what I want to do is I want to pull that top lip down below the top teeth edges. So this is how I do it. You see how that's tucking it down and as it tucks it down it also pulls it into my mouth a little bit. I'll do that a few more times. Okay now after doing that a couple times you'll feel where the source of that tug comes from and it's down in here. You see that? So that, that is the point where we're feeling the contraction that pulls the top lip down. Now if I pull that top lip down and then I move my jaw forward, you'll see that no longer does my top lip go inside my mouth, but it stays in front of the teeth. So I'm going to pull it down and then move my jaw forward with the teeth open. Okay, now that's kind of an ugly picture, but I guess that's why they call it a bulldog, because it's pulled down like that. Now, if I continue to pull down hard against this lower lip, in an isometric contraction, I'll feel the tug real good down here. Now the trick with this exercise is you don't want your embouchure to slide up in front of your top teeth. You want to keep the aperture between the open teeth. That way you're making sure that you're exercising the muscles properly and you're getting a good idea of how these pull down and then this, your chin and your mentalist are pushing up and out to resist it. Now you can do it several ways but I try to do it isometrically keeping the armature in place now almost every time this lower lip will win and will push the top lip up that's alright because remember when you're playing the trumpet you're rim of your mouthpiece is going to hold that top lip in place so that it cannot move up. But you've got to start in the center here and if you'd like you can put your finger right over here like the rim of the mouthpiece would be just a little bit above the red. And then if you release your finger you'll see how everything is still in between the closed lips. Now what this does is it causes the sides of your top lip to hold down like this inside the rim as opposed to pooching out into the rim like that. What that does is it keeps the pressure on the outer white or as the curve of your lips come around keep it on the rolled in red. It also allows the lower lip to expose itself a little bit to the bottom rim and you may see an outline of the lower rim right here starting at the bottom of your lower lip and coming up. But the pressure is centered here and the contraction is centered here. This way we're using all these lower hemisphere muscles. That's everything from the center of the aperture down. To hold things in place. 
Now, some players uh, have no problem doing that because their, look, their top lip naturally is right here. So for them, that exercise looks something like this. No big deal. For those of us who have to go a long way, there's more contraction pulling that top lip down. Now, we know that we want to keep a straight aperture across inside the rim when we're playing in an airplane embouchure. And some players have said, well, I'm confused because when you do the bulldog, it pulls that down. Well, the reason is, is because you don't have the rim in place holding everything around that red part of your lip in a straight line. All right. Now, after you've done that 8 or 10 or 12 times and you've got a real good tug at it, what I recommend you do is you put your mouthpiece on. Let me find some kind of a mouthpiece around here. Here's a trumpet player without a mouthpiece. Okay, I'm just grabbing something here. Now, I'm putting the mouthpiece on, teeth open, lips touching together, in the center, no contraction. Now, I can talk because the mouthpiece is just lightly holding those lips together and I can repeat the exercise. All right, that'll give you a pretty good feel of how you're strengthening the proper muscles so that we're tugging down here on the outside, we're moving up here isometrically, the corners are closing from the edge like a scissors action and holding everything together in the middle. That way this red part does not tighten up itself. We do not want to tighten the red of your lip up because that restricts the vibration. All right, we want to leave that red part to relax and to uh, have a consistency that allows it to have a free vibration while yet, as we move more air through, or we desire to go higher or lower, we can control how that aperture resists the air with these surrounding muscles. Now you notice when we blow through and try to use the Bulldog embouchure, there is no response really like a buzz. And the reason is, because I'm not creating a buzz with my lips to spit through the mouthpiece. And that's a big difference between the way most players play and the airplay players play. The airplay relies on the resistance of the horn, the total compression, the inside of the mouth to create, to a, to create an environment where that lip will vibrate. And when you put your whole horn together, it works. And basically, you'll feel the vibration come off the lower lip and into the horn and up. So I hope that really explains in this eight minutes and a half or so the bulldog exercise and the fact that it is important, but it's only important if you do it properly. All right, have fun. Go to the website, pick up the DVD, airplay at grawlin.com.